Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here and I'm here just to do another Ajin discussion video, this time talking more about Koji Tanaka because I just wanted to talk more about him since I haven't been really discussing about him a lot in this channel, you know, Ajin Demi Human is what I discuss about and yeah, I mean I have done an Ajin Demi Human character discussion topic video on Koji Tanaka and I talked about him in the, the previous Ajin Demi Human manga chapter reviews, I talked about him, about him there. But yeah, this video is just going to be all about Koji Tanaka, just talk a lot more about him in general really, but it, yeah. I mean, we first get introduced to Koji Tanaka in like chapter, I believe. Yeah, it was like the first chapter, I believe. Yeah, it was back then when Sato just released Koji Tanaka from like this. He was being experimented on by these Japanese researchers in the, like, within the Japanese government. They were you. Because, like, yeah, at the time, the Koji Tanaka, he was, like, their only, like, Ajin in stock at that point in time. So, losing Tanaka was not a good thing for Japan at all. Because, like, yeah, like I said, he was the only Ajin in their stock. So, yeah, that was pretty detrimental in their part. But, yeah, I mean, well, for Koji Tanaka, I mean, see, Koji, he was pretty much a guinea pig for the Japanese government for, like, 10 years straight until Sato came in and killed all the researchers and guards that were protecting Koji Tanaka from being... Like, you know, saved and uh, yeah, he, he, Sato managed to kill them all. Him and his IBM saved Koji Tanaka, and then they were able to, I guess, go out, meet each other, talk to each other, get to know each other a little bit better until they can, I guess, eventually find out about K Nagai and then recruit him, try to get him on their side. But yeah, for the most part, Koji, he was just pretty quiet after, after that. I mean, he didn't really talk to K once they first met, like, for the first time, but he did help to capture. Well, he did help to, I guess, tranquilize K by like, by Tanaka using his IBM in like the, from from the distance, and then yeah, Tanaka's IBM shot the tranquilized dart at K's back or nape or whatever, and then K went down, and then, of course Tanaka and Sato delivered K. I guess I guess like they left K on this street somewhere in town, and then they found him, and then they delivered him to the police, and then the police delivered him to the. Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, and the IG side of things, and then they took custody of K and Nagai there, and then Tosaki met K right there for the first time in that room right between him and the glass, and just K being experimented on by the researchers. Yeah, so that's what was happening there. Tanaka helped out with that. But yeah, I mean, Tanaka, he was all for to help Sato out, though, and to kill all the, all the people so he can, I guess, Make make like the world a better place for Aji, right? So even though Reiji Akiyama, when they like they first met, he yeah Reiji warned Tanaka about like okay look don't side with Sato. He's an incredibly dangerous man. And it's pretty obvious what he's capable of. You should not side with him. Okay, just make sure you stop him immediately. But yeah, I mean Koji, he was a little bit too late with that. He took a little too too long just to stop Sato. I mean he he went along with what, what Sato wanted to do, he did, like the massacre and stuff like that. Yeah, so. Sato wanted to do all that sort of stuff and he needed Tanaka's help for I guess phase yeah for like the plan one and two. It's like it's like phase one and two like with the with like the mass killing, destroying buildings, um the kill list and also all that sort of stuff right there. And eventually phase three was I guess the use of planes from Ibrima base and target some even more buildings all around Japan. And then now he's currently trying to leave Japan, but yeah, K kinda got onto him and Koji Tanaka currently on Izumi's side as long as as well as in K's side as well. Yeah, so mostly Izumi in yeah, Koji, he's just partnered up with Izumi right now, no longer partnered up with Sato. However, I guess Koji still has some obligation towards Sato because I mean Sato was the one who saved Koji from that ten year long experimentation, that ten year long torture the hell that Koji was going through for all those long years and Sato was the one who broke like, Tanaka free from that. I mean that was like a huge thing for Tanaka that yeah like Tanaka lost like 10 years and Sato saved him so yeah I mean how could Tanaka just like shot down Sato on that motorcycle in chapter was it chapter 82 I think it was somewhere around there but it's probably like before that maybe but yeah I mean how could Tanaka just shot Sato on that motorbike I mean, he just couldn't do that. He couldn't bring himself to do that. I mean, he just went down on his knees. He just, like, like he's like, Sato, I won't let you control me again. And then Sato just, like, kind of the way that Tanaka's like, hey, Tanaka, how's it going? And then 
So now, of course, remember back to where he met. He first met Sato back at that facility where Sato saved him, and he just went down like yeah, like I said, he went down on his knees. He couldn't shoot him, and then Izumi understood what what's going on and how Tanaka couldn't bring himself to shoot down Sato despite everything Sato has done for him in the past, like which I mean controlling him definitely. But he did save him though, so that's another thing there. I mean. So, yeah, I mean, all this wouldn't even be happening right now if Sato didn't free Tanaka. However, at the same time, Sato was controlling him. So, yeah, it was, it's kind of a huge thing that Tanaka needs to think about first before he can actually go and confront Sato and successfully actually, you know, disable him and not prevent him from movement because obviously he can't kill him. He's an Ajin, so he's going to have to prevent Sato's movement somehow. So that's what he's going to have to do there. I mean, it's gonna be hard for Tanaka, but Tanaka he's, gonna, he's just gonna have to think about it for a while, or he could just like delve right into it and immediately just maybe thought about it off screen. We just didn't see it because we just need to move along with with these chapters. Can't have Tanaka just you know, pondering on about like should I wait should I just forget about like Sato save me just like, just think of him as an enemy and nothing else, but. Yeah, that's probably what thought. So, like Tanaka thought about off screen, and then now he's gonna go and fight Sato right here, right now, and then yeah, that's what's going on there. Just like Tanaka is just off screen right now. We haven't seen him ever since he tried to shoot down Sato on that motorbike, and then Izumi left him behind to go and search for the anti dimmies Reiji and Ko. Yeah, and them, and yeah, let's see anything else about Tanaka. Yeah, I mean Tanaka, he helped Sato with the four security building operation there to kill Keiji Kai and Naomi Lee. However, yes, yeah, Sato, he managed to kill Keiji Kai. Tanaka managed to get Takashi and Gen into the force security building in the first place and kill most of the guards there. And also Koji fought Izumi there as well. And then they both kind of talked to each other, kind of like, you know, building up their relationship and that, that in the future they will soon like work with each other and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that kind of, I just felt like that kind of build stuff up between their relationship back at the Ford security building and that arc where yeah like I said both Tanaka and Izumi fought and then Tanaka kind of put Izumi in these handcuffs against these railings and like up the stairs and then, and then Tanaka went back to save Izumi from being exposed by these people who were on the stairwell trying to take pictures of her because they saw her just you know, reset so they know that she's an Aji, even though they just saw her die, then she just reset. Like, okay, this woman's an Aji, I don't know who she is, but she's an Aji, let's, let's take pictures of her, just so we have like proof of this. But yeah, the Tanaka, I guess, summoned his IBM and killed all the all the civilians around like, Izumi and saved Izumi from being exposed. Yeah, that's kind of foreshadowed that, okay, so Tanaka might in the future, I guess, side with Izumi. Well, okay, maybe it didn't foreshadow that, it just foreshadowed that, okay, not foreshadow, just it just showed that like, like, Tanaka respects Izumi in that sort of sense there because I, I don't know because like Tanaka kind of saw Izumi like like Izumi you've been with these humans safe not being experimented on for like probably your, the majority of your life I mean, you could have been but you were just lucky luckier than me so I you kind of pissed me off just because of that and then yeah of course, like, he's me, Sato, Tanaka. Like, Tanaka, you're no better yourself. I mean, you go around killing innocent people with Sato. I mean, how are you any better? Like, why are you just criticizing me for my way of life? Like, well, what are you doing? So, yeah, then eventually they just became friends because Tanaka kind of, I mean, see, Tanaka, he didn't want to kill anymore. He really did not want to fight anymore. He just told, he even told Sato this when he tried to save Naomi Lee because Naomi Lee was really sorry for what she, like, she did to Tanaka during Tanaka's stay at the Force Security Building during his 10 year long torture that time being experimented on by the Force Security Building by Keiichi Kai and Naomi Lee. Yeah, Naomi Lee was responsible for Tanaka's torture and um, yeah, like I said, Naomi Lee was really apo apologetic for that. So Tanaka wants, he wanted Sato to just like let her go, don't kill her and then Sato was like, okay. If you don't want me to, uh, sure, we can live. We can let her live. I mean, I just killed Keiichi Kai, so I guess we can go, whatever. So yeah, I mean, Tanaka was surprised by that, but I guess she just like whatever. Okay, that's great. Thanks for thanks for not killing her. So yeah, of course, Tanaka then got Naomi Lee out of there to safety, and then we don't really see her again after that. So, but yeah, I mean, we do see Tanaka trying to, just trying to get like Sato not to you know kill anymore because he just wants to do things the right way from now on. It's just 
talk to they talk to like the cabinet minister and the ministry of health labor and welfare maybe like they can just have some they can, they can find some common ground between each other but you see the thing is Tanaka was the only one to show up at that meeting and Sato and Takashi and Yan just they just the three of them all went to the Imura base to start their next operation there phase three of their plan and Tanaka was just left behind because I guess Sato just saw Tanaka as useless for now on because like Tanaka said like he didn't want to kill anymore and Sato saw no fun in that so he just decided to just leave Tanaka behind so Sato could just do his own thing for now on at the Uma base and then just continue on from that right there with, with that plot in hand so yeah I mean that's just what happened to Tanaka he was just of course he was tranquilized by the cabinet minister's men and then he was taken by them to I guess some sort of facility where he could be experimented upon and once again be like the the, the number two Aji public discovery in Japan because that's what that's just what he is right there and yeah he, he was almost about to be captured but Izumi went there and tried to save Tanaka tried to get Tanaka on their side so they can get rid of him as an enemy instead of making him as an ally because that's a smarter way to do that so yeah that's how it's done there and yeah, so right now Tanaka and Izumi, like I just said before, are now working together to try and stop Sato, and that's just yeah. And then they've been together ever since then, and have been really yeah. I mean, they have some arguments because I guess it, Izumi wanted Tanaka and, and her to split up to better to get, to better look for Sato, but Tanaka thought that was a really stupid idea. Like, no, we can't do that right now. But Izumi really doesn't know what to do to. And how to find Sato and, and like because she thought like Sato was in like the helicopter which is why he's blood yeah Tanaka said it was stupid but luckily they found Sato on like the, on like this motorbike just in the distance just driving around like yeah then Sato drive near them they find they found Sato there with that so yeah that's what happened there and uh yeah I mean I think that's all I want to talk about with Tanaka I think I just I mean if I just keep on going on on this video I'll probably go way too long so yeah I mean I think I'm just gonna stop here but yeah, I mean, just comment down in the comment section below if you have anything you want to say about Kochi Tanaka, anything at all. But yeah, I mean, that's it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and bye.